Hundreds of tons of dead fish have been cleared from Tampa Bay and St. Petersburg beaches. The fish were killed by the same toxic red tide plaguing Florida's southwest coast since November. A lot of the times a storm system can actually impede or disperse a bloom. However, in this case, Hurricane Elsa brought cells into Tampa Bay where there's a physical boundary. So that bloom couldn't be flushed out, but instead concentrated in Tampa Bay. Red tide is the common name for microscopic toxin releasing algae in the Gulf of Mexico. As the algae floats to land, it can kill marine life. And as the Gulf gets warmer, the red tide gets worse. In recent years, we have seen these blooms start later and later in the year. What used to be late summer, early fall for the beginning of bloom season ending in early winter, we are now seeing blooms start in, well, for example, this current bloom started in November 2020 and is still ongoing in July 2021. It can also cause health issues for people. What makes this species so unique is that the toxin not only harms aquatic life, but it can also aerosolize. It attaches onto sea salt particles in the air, moves onshore with winds, causing coughing, sneezing, and people that are healthy. But for those with asthma or COPD, this can be really serious.